the only chance of us getting on the road this morning is to have a coffee it was a pretty loud night because the air conditioning unit is very very loud i thought the whole night that there's a truck in front of our room and then we had mosquitoes as well wanting to eat us let's hope that the room tonight will be a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable <laughs> And not so scary. Ah! Hoo -yah! How does the bearing look? My professional eye says everything good. <laughs> good. Wheel still on? Wheel still on. <laughs> Goodbye, most disgusting room. <laughs> I won't miss you. <laughs> but thank you that you were there as an option. <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 374 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of La Tiaja and we've just jumped onto the highway number 1800 on our way to Mexico City. Yeah, it's a really a nice cool morning, 26 degrees, perfect start for the day. Yeah, and we made a really, really, really good distance yesterday. We put in a lot of hours, I think it was about 10 hours on the bike. The aim was to reach halfway between Palenque and Mexico City, but actually we managed to make it well over halfway. And today we have just under five hours of riding to reach Mexico City. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here here and today we're going to be following this green road all the way into this craziness right here we have a day off as well a day off of sightseeing which will be really really cool yeah mexico city is also the largest city in north america so it's going to be super super crazy to see how it is when we arrive yes yeah, so it's just about 215 miles and it's already 7.30, so better hit the road, let's go. So we're starting to climb our first mountains for like ages. We haven't had these kinds of mountains in a long time. Yeah, in a very long time actually. <laughs> yeah, it looks like as well that we sort of passed the tropical bits now. It looks a little bit more dry, a little bit more deserty. It's not so humid anymore, which is really nice. Yeah, with any luck, we've left the super high temperatures and the tropical humidity behind. We have landscapes again. Yes. After days and days and days of like sweating on the bike, I'm now freezing cold. The temperature is 18 degrees and we've like really climbed up high into the mountains now. Maybe it's time to get our jumpers out. <laughs> yeah, this kind of gear we're wearing at the moment really is not good for anything under like 25, 24, 23 degrees. Wind just blows straight through you with this gear on. That's amazing how quickly everything can change, hey? And within one ride. Oh, some little puppies. Hello. Oh, don't we have a little bit of uh, space in our bags here? I think we do. For two? For two. For, for two. I want to say hello. <coughs> okay. Hello. You're a good little boy. You're a good little boy. Yes, he is. 
Let's see if we can find a snack to eat, hey? Yeah. What have we got to snack? I'm already hungry. Three quesadillas for 35. Yeah. That's about £1.50, is it? Okay, let's see if they got it. Um, yeah, maize is okay. Con uh, verduras. Okay. Okay. Cool. There we go. Success. Look at all this like sugary stuff here. <laughs> and then really cool. They have like this sugar and peanut plate here. And they have a big, big turtles here. Which is, I think, just pure sugar as well. So, quesadillas with some cheese inside, and now we can put some of the onion, pepper, tomato on top or inside, I don't know really. <laughs> All right, ready for the cold. We've got our rain jackets over. Lavi's gone for the rain trousers as well. But we looked at the temperature in Mexico City and it looks to be like in the sort of mid to high 20s as well. So yes. not crazy hot. Yeah. So I think uh, hopefully this outfit should work. Got some doggy, doggy <laughs> You trying to just push him out of the way. These dogs don't want to leave our bike alone. Oh, bless him. Bye-bye, yeah. puppies. Bye-bye, puppies. So it looks like we have hit a major traffic jam here. Yeah, it's like the traffic completely stopped. Completely stopped. stopped People yeah. are like outside their cars and doing this and that. But luckily, we're having like this nice lane here on the side which is amazing we are saving a lot of yeah. time i think my estimation was that it could take like a, over an hour to get through here oh. and actually okay got a few people here blocking our way <laughs> yeah it's okay yeah yeah i'm okay yeah yeah I'm you're all right yes okay yeah i mean i'm gonna see if i can make my way through and back out to the edge Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Is he going? No. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, okay, he's yeah. going back a little bit. Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you. He's like a little dinosaur on his. Yeah, a little front. pterodactyl. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nope. Back to the bike lane. It worked. Everything is completely blocked. Wow. What's going on? Oh bugger. Oh bugger. Is there like... Okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay. <laughs> but it looks like there's more and more people in the in that lane. They have a military stuck. Oh. Crazy stuff is going on here. Oh man. Just all these guys in the side lanes. <laughs> Ah, yep. Yes. There's a man ploughing his field there. That's romantic, eh? But like with oh, a Oh, there's horse. another motorbike behind us. Maybe yeah. just beat this, guys. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah, this is what you need, hey? A motorbike. <laughs> yeah, this is going to save us a hell of a lot of time. <laughs> Okay, I think we've reached the front now. Yeah. And I think it's just this this bus, hey? Yeah. That's it. The bus broke down, yeah? It's just a broken down bus. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can't they move the bus to the side? That's crazy. Crazy man. There's like not for us, but for them, probably an hour wait. Just At least a bus broke down. <laughs> Cannot believe that. <laughs> It's not fair, it's really not fair. So we just stopped here on the side of the road. It's a pretty hectic ride today. A lot of overtaking tracks. 
it's pretty hectic but anyway I bought some fried beans from the shop here which is so cool that you can just pick them up like this we have some nachos left and I got us some uh, vegetarian pasties for like a pound they smell good yummy it's a parasol kind of day thanks Chris <laughs> thanks Chris it's time to get our Mexico on the box Brilliant! Ah, oh, beautiful! Muchas gracias! So we finally found a PSI pressure meter and the lovely lady at the petrol station is helping us to uh, make it work on the tyre. Okay, we just changed pumps and we're going to try this one and see if this works any better. Oh, it's pretty tight. Four, seven, yes! Perfecto. Cool, awesome! Okay. Oof, whether or not it's gonna work, hold on. I don't know. Okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah? It was on 35 apparently. It was on 35 yes. and now it's on 40. Yeah. So we set it to 40 in the f back and 38 in the front. Muchas gracias, thank you. Yeah. Cool, okay. good job. <laughs> All right, time to rock and roll. Just coming into the limits of Mexico City, the largest city in North America. I think we're pretty much just following this road straight, 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 and that should take us right into the heart of the city. And then we've booked an accommodation on booking.com, which is only something like 14 pounds a night. Oh, look, there's a cable car. They're using like the same, like in La Paz, for the oh, public yeah. transport. That's cool. Nice. I really tried hard to find like the cheapest but not the worst room here in Mexico City but apparently in this like price range they have just the adult hotels so <laughs> apparently this is as well again like an adult or love hotel at least this one seems to have really good cleanliness reviews exactly very good uh, reviews on booking.com so we thought oh let's give it a go yeah give it a go so we've booked three nights in the city so we'll do a bit of sightseeing tomorrow and then we've got a day to catch up on a bit of computer work editing work and have a little bit of a rest to be honest after some crazy long rides So we're getting closer into the heart of Mexico City. So I thought it'd be a good time to tell you guys a couple of bits and bobs about this massive, massive place. Mexico City was actually founded on the Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan, and was basically built directly on top of that conquered city. It's absolutely crazy because it used to be that Tenochtitlan was on an island in the middle of a lake, but that lake is totally gone now. They actually drained it to help with the mosquito problem at some point. It's crazy to think that there was actually a lake here in the heart of the city. So the city lies in the Valley of Mexico on the High Mexican Plateau and is actually at 2,240 meters above sea level. But it's still really hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 32 degrees at the moment. The population of the city is 9.2 million, but in the greater metropolitan area, there are 21 million people here, making it the sixth largest metropolitan area in the world and the second largest behind Sao Paulo in the Americas. But it is the largest city in North America, larger than any US city. And I can tell you, a lot of those people own cars. 
it is packed with traffic here for sure and surprisingly you can't really see many bikes no it doesn't look like as much of a biker city i'm not sure why that is so we're only about five minutes away from our accommodation now and our accommodation is called hotel rio where is it should be Ah, yeah, here, Hotel Rio. Hotel Rio. Oh, Hotel Rio okay. is like the, the flag of Brazil. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I think he said go in here uh, and okay. then there. Gotcha. We made it. Happy the life. Whee! To this incredibly nice room. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised because it was a love hotel that we left this morning. But this is quite a nice love hotel. Yeah. Look at this. It's got hearts on the shower. This super nice big shower as well. Wow. Hearts on the toilet. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> got your standard love seat there. But it's very clean, it's pretty big, it's got a nice big window. They put a lot of effort into the design and you can see it, like it's pretty cool. I'm really impressed, Rio Hotel. Yeah, I'm really, really happy in this room. Yep, yeah, not a bad place for the same price, the same price yeah. as the room we left this morning. Yeah. The same price. Unbelievable. Yes, I'm really happy with this room. We will spend the next three nights here because we really, really need a little bit of a rest. Just one day, just in bed, sleeping. Because since Panama, we didn't have a proper day off, actually. We were just like, go, go, go every day, like visiting things and riding the bike. So it would be nice to just one day in bed, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of miles on the road. I'm really looking forward to a day off the bike. But for now, we will just head out. We will get something to eat and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and if you really 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 like our videos you can join us on patreon the link is in the description below we will see you next time